used to round out the team composition. Archetype the rock. accomplished. Initiation, press R, and let Orianna and Jinx follow up. Uh, I feel like throughout this draft you phase, we had a 400 gold in top lane, 500 in mid lane, where frankly nothing's been happening other than Larson shoving out the wave, oh, taking the trades. Oh, the feral scream! Nom, 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 nom. Using it today in combination with Han Sama. And Rogue have got themselves a 2,000 gold lead. Hunt won't find the root. Trimby's going to get locked down in place, and the Super Mega Death Rocket comes out. It's going to be action because you think about it, Armut's ult can force a fight whenever he wants. Elioia's ult can force a fight on this tower. Walks in one more time. Let's pop the Scryer's Bloom. Let's spot out Elioia on the top side of the map. We've got mid tower. Now, now it's about ganking bot. The Unstoppable Force is available. Armut needs to find a target. On Summer is popped into the air and before his feet can touch the ground, Kazi sends him back to the fountain. It's a double kill for Kazi's Jinx. Beautiful to buy space for their squad. Well, now that ulti's back for Armut. El is sitting inside the bush. They want to go in. Unstoppable Force knocks up Odo. He's got no flash. He chucks the hammer up and here comes Inspired. Run. Stun. Trimby's on the Jump's way. not yet done. Turns into Phoenix and Tiger and Armut's being run down as Trimby's trying to find a secondary. Armut will be able to get one more smash in the face as Rogue pick up their second kill of the game and El Yoya escapes with his life. Feels a little bit bad there for Trimby, trying to chase down El Yoya, not getting an assist off that play. But at the end of it all, they're going to get that top lane tower too. Will be traded on the bot side of the map. Karzi going to be firing away at that one for sure. But you see off the back of the play, Inspired once again into the enemy jungle. Larson full shoving that midway. No one's going to be there. Push forward from Kaiser. Rogue just want to slow it down as much as possible. Use the terrain to your advantage. Use your poke from Jace. Oh, oh they don't want that. Oh, no, gets caught down the shield by sometime, but it's Kazi on a rampage. That's his fourth of the game. The Emperor's Divide will slow down. Mad Lines follow up engaged, oh. but the damage coming out. Inspired has already shut down Kazi. The second goes to Trimby, a third falls in favor of Lawson. And now Mad Lines are running for their lives. Inspired is chasing forward. Can he find the bear slap to the face of Alyoya? And it's bear on bear action. And it's Rogue that find four. Rogue gotta love that play. He means there's no kill onto the Senna. And once you start running away from an Azir, from an Uyr, all these things, well, what you're not. was a 4v5, he was what helped turn it around. Yeah, and again, you know, I've been talking about it all game long. Udyr and Cho'Gath don't have great peel off. That's how the team fights will go, and this is why Rogue have got themselves a 3,000 gold lead. It'll drop to 2,000. Or Mad inspired on the flank. We'll see what ends up happening here. I can hear the players getting excited on stage. That's a good hook. Santons will connect onto Odo. He's the target once again. Boom. Mad Lions have thrown everything at them, though. Now inspired is running for his life as Rogue was split up. Rogue are not able the to. Overall goal between the two teams, like Larson and Karzi are ahead of everyone else. It's a huge shockwave. Shockwave catches too. Inspired and Trimbiol low, but there's no further follow-up just yet. Trimby goes gold and he dodges the rocket. That means Kazi can't find himself another and get that oh, pass. Larson! The oh, and Larson! With the slide and glide and cold oh, scoops up Kazi. And with that one down, Rogue will be able to pick up the Baron now. Mad Lions have started this Infernal and I think they may be able to finish it off. It's not the quickest with just Alyoya and Kaiser. Larson and Odo, they're going to make their way down. And this will be a little bit close, but Dragon's going low ender, 2,600. Land the smite, Alyoya learned from yesterday's mistakes that we watched and going to jump inside the pit, and it will be smote away. Alyoya, again, somewhat expected in the matchup. And despite the fact that Odo has been the juicy target for Matt, it hasn't actually netted them control of the game. It has felt as though Rogue have been dictating the pace to Mad Lions. Oh, certainly. And I think that, like, killing Odo, always going to be good. But we're now at a point in the game where, like, Larson has 3,000 gold more than pretty much anyone else stepping in forward map. with his ultimate. Uh, can I ask you to analyze a statement oh. as that is a shockwave onto Larson. He's still got the ultimate available. Hans Sama will be able to root down Alyoya. Larson's down. We'll get a heal out from Hans Sama. And the support is now making its way in. Empress Divide instantly disengages Alyoya. Watch out, watch out, pops over the wall. Armut comes in with the ultimate. And he will go down. That's Alyoya trade. It. It's going to be set up. Rogue not going to full prey. Not going to put oh, they want Odo. The targets. Odo again. Oh, what a he flash. flashes away from the hook. Gets caught by the play. Goes forward and the ultimate comes out. Shockwave catches Odo, but the head drinker keeps him alive. Odo escapes with his life. It's Alyoya that's down. Larson finds Kazi. Larson finds Kazi. He's got an aim bot locked on Mad Lion's bot. And
and it's two quick kills to Rogue. Oh my god, the biggest pickup in the offseason, the LEC is Odo coming into Rogue. He gets picked, but it's an insane hook, and now Trimby, they're chasing forward. They're gonna find Armut Rogue. Oh, look at the end game right here. They absolutely are. Rogue turned the engage around. Odo Wamne survives this time, and Humanoid does not. Rogue find themselves four kills, will open up the base, take down the inhibitor. 45 seconds for Humanoid, 30 seconds for Armut, 10 seconds for Kazi. There is surely no way that Mad Lions can defend their space. Five members of Rogue are looking at the second Nexus turret. That's a jump in from Aloya. He gets feasted down and taken out by Trimby. The Nexus will be the next focus, but not before a quick stop to kill Kaiser for the second time, turning their attention for yet another stat pad. Rogue with a statement win in game one. One player wasn't enough. The Azir Wall gets that job done. So now will be Armut returning to his signature Wukong pick, one of his all-time favorites. Really he wants to have the ability to close the gap and influence these lanes. Well, let's find out if he can, because it's Kaiser with a death sentence into a flame. Mad Lions picked up first blood in game number one, and they do it in game number two. The CS up towards the top side. Not even that many minions to pick up, oh. but Han Sama, he's caught out. There's a flash available for Han Sama. He's going to get caught out. There's the engage coming up from Alyoya. Dropped to 50 HP, and Kazi follows it back. Alyoya. Rook. We'll now be able to set up another. Gets them all down under Trimby as the rock. A little bit, but Mad Lions aren't going to slow down. They want to hit it once again. They're on no summoners for Hans and Trimby, but right between the uprights. It's a double rupture into the Feral Scream. Teleport is coming in as Odo has arrived for the fight. He's got a flash available to him and inspired. Maybe able to cut off Kaiser, who's got no flash available. The chains will be sidestepped by Alyoya, but Odo chases with a Q. Now all of a sudden, Rogue find themselves one kill. And inspired and Trimby will be able to run that down Kaiser. Kaiser gets himself a blast cone may end up want to run away run away from Lawson yeah do, do not, not give that man a free kill that is a, a, you, you can't do that please no and honestly the longer they keep Kaiser alive the better it is broke <laughs> this is good no no this is genius Ka Kaiser wants to into tower right now because the longer he stays alive the longer he doesn't oh! what what a solo kill for Kazi and, and they're keeping him behind forward. yes give me all the fights Armut's joining the fray the cyclones available to him it's a level four Cho'Gath there is the spin looking for the win, the zap into a crushing blow. Six, it is dead even, so winner of this red buff maybe unlocks the rest of a fight. Larson wants to go in, no flash, Alyoya. Manages to find the scoop on the Emperor's Divide, Alyoya, no level six just yet. The smite gives them such a gigantic bunch of HP. Inspired does the same in reply. Armour will be able to get oh, the crushing oh. blow. Inspired dashes to safety. How did he stay alive? Armour's now running for his life. Blast cones over the wall. The super mega death rocket is flying from downtown. Split between Mad Lions members and the shockwave will only catch Lawson, but there's not enough damage. Odo drops down the dark in blade as Armut dashes forward once again. Cyclone is a few seconds oh, away. Oh, yeah. Here comes Alyoya bringing the thunder to Rogue. Two more kills to the Mad Lions. It's animal style early game, and that's going to be all for the Mad Lions. Kaiser has even forgotten about Bali. He's tracking down Inspired. A very low Inspired. No flash, no ultimate Alyoya. He wants to kill him. He's going to do it. The death sentence from Kaiser. Lucky number seven. Two, one, fifteen hundred gold. Golden just before the next engage. Actually, whoa, may not whoa, have whoa, time. Whoa. Inspired has got no ultimate available just yet. He may not even need it. The ulti from Hunt Summer comes down, won't find the target. Inspired dashes forward. No joining is available. So the tower can be denied. There's no flash for Larson, but he's still got the Emperor's Divide that has been thrown out. Predator comes out, jump forward from Alyoya, and the slide will be able to get Larson away, but the tower oh, look is at the under rocket. pressure. Get they're excited! Baiting us. They're baiting us, they're, Ooh. Ooh. they're baiting us. I didn't believe it, as he was going to be able to escape with his life, but now inspired, he fancies his chances. Collateral damage is available. Humanoid will get dropped down. Cool guys don't look at explosions as inspired. Pops! Another kill. Just beautiful play there from Inspired off of that one. Good hook over the wall. No, Yoya is here. No ulti, though. Into the zap, into the lantern. Trimby's going to flash to tower. Now, Yoya with no flash, no ulti. The rest of the Rogue are coming down here, including Inspired and Larson. They're big. That rupture was very, very important. It slowed down Kazi's escape. Kaiser's trying to buy as much time as possible as Kazi gets rooted. Kaiser's already dead. Another one to Rogue. It's Larson that is able to pick it up. Three quick. Under the turret and cause Kaiser and Kazi to be way too deep. But also, that play is happening 
happening. Odo's TP had come back up. I think that's the, a fight going on up in the top side, but Botlane, again, you see the flash come over, and then, well, mid was oh. working against you. Top Odo was also running bot. Top is winning. I'm sorry to cut you off, oh. but Armut started a fight and was about to kill Odo one day, but with the dawning shadow from down bottom, oh. Odo's going to turn this around. Here comes Oyoya. Armut, Odo needs to get one more hit down with the Darkened Blade. He's not going to be able to find it just yet. No flash available. Armut will escape with his life for now do to do his thing, and he does it really well. Yeah, oh, ulti in mid. That's just going to be chunk for the time being. Larson should be able to scoot out of that. And honestly, like this game, Odo's not even like full weak side. He's got no. pressure and enabled inspired to steal. But look what it does. It opens up mid and bottom towers while Mad Lions are trading blue for top. Now Odo Wambe's got the world ender. He's got no flash available, and Kaiser with a death sentence will easily secure another kill for the Mad Lions. Bottom turret will drop, and now all of a sudden, Inspired's running for his life. Because Larson cannot take the mid. Yeah, Inspired tower. thought they could knock out that tower and then go for the two versus two there, but the minion wave was killed. Even though it can be predictable at times, there is often very little counterplay because he's always working off of his lane. Oh, this tower goes down from Larson. It's still unsure if Rogue want to commit to a fight. I think they just go for the Herald. You get the full push on mid wave. Rogue are playing for the money, not for the buff. And I think this makes sense considering Larson, he's got a big lead over Human. just yet. Rogue going to play it safe again. We saw this a lot last game. Larson split pushing topside. You have to be careful. Now Inspired has, has to run away. He absolutely does. The split just come down. El is not going to be able to find the kill just yet because he will. Fishbone's doing all of the work. The Zap is sidestep. The Frost will slow down further. And a Feast will do good damage to Kaiser, but at 20 minutes no, they're absolutely point. not. And Rogue are now going to be in trouble. What can they get on the back away? Humanoid's got the Shockwave available and a number of targets. Inspired dashes forward. Oh. Shockwave comes out. Humanoid, Humanoid takes him out to the solar kill, but in the back fight. Now Hunt Summer's running for his life. Mad Lions have destroyed Rogue where they stand. One, two, three, four, five. Not just yet. Oda Omne's running for his life. It's a one for four. The Zap will slow him down. Kazi's going to have a flash from Kaiser into the flay. Odo gets the heal for days, but you cannot get through. Kazi's fed Jinx. The 22 minute team fight Ace and the Baron are in a brilliant spot to close this out. What? Give it to them. Soft Street. Kazi out damaging all of Rogue at the Baron fight, and now Armored will be in some pressure. But Baron empowered minions are now going to be pushing in to Rogue. And Wave clear, definitely not the strongest on this Rogue squad as Humanoid will make his way to the mid lane. Yeah, right now Madline's playing two lanes and Rogue for a moment saw an opportunity to make a play bot side. But again, Rogue's just straight up engage, not very strong. You know, they want to hit you first. They want to invite Madlines into them. And once Madlines have Baron, Madlines never have to engage the team fight. They can just look for the siege. They can look for the damage that Jinx, ro Jinx rockets can hit these turrets from a mile away. So Larson has to do his best to clear away the waves because Senna doesn't have it. Oh no, can they kill him? Shockwave catches onto Lars and he's able to use the concrete shifting sands to safety of the kill will go on to Odo. I'm gonna tell Yoya that picks up his third of the game. Kazi kids keeps firing out those rockets and now Mad Lions move with the minions to the middle lane. And it's Humanoid with another great shockwave. It picks out Larson and then Odo's like, I have to save my carry. Yes. He dies to a good hook from Kaiser there. Mad Lions have now cracked open the base of Rogue, not just in mid, but also in bot lane. We're still 20 seconds away from Odo respawning and Mad Lions are looking for a couple of inhibitors. Larson still got the flash available, still got the Emperor's Divide, but no Odo Wame for another three. Take your time, TP back seconds. in, Armu, why not? Got the time to do so. I'm just going to back away. He's going to be able to re-engage the fray. The Sand Soldiers do a lot of damage to Kazi. He's got flash available to him. Inspired's uh -oh. dashing forward. The Smite comes out. Lateral damage is being held on. Must do something to shut him down. They're teeping in Armut into the side. Look at the gold before we go. Plus 4,000 gold ahead of anyone else's Kazi. Shouldn't be forced to flash for his life. Again, it's Mad Lions. They see a numbers advantage. Inspired Odwamni both in the top side. So Mad Lions called the TP in. Look at the damage coming out from Karzi as well. They want it all, Trevor. Manages to take the lantern to safety. Sidesteps away from the root from Han Summer. Dodges the piercing darkness and will be able to take down the inhibitor. That's the second of the game. Mad Lines can see such an unenviable task and with the rockets, with the range, and importantly, with how well. Not contest the Baron, and now here comes the onslaught. We've already said Rogue can't really take the fight to Mad Lions. It's it's such an impossible task for them to start off a team fight. Their only true initiation going to be that Azir Wall, and Larson does not want to be in the middle of five Mad Lions players. With two waves broken of super minions going to be coming in mid lane and bot lane, and Mad Lions five stacking in top side. Rogue are without options. Small route onto El Yoya will buy some. Some time for Rogue as the Rupture doesn't find a target. Odo's got the flash, can go over the wall, decides against it. So Yoya throws down the Predator, looking for a, a long, long way away from that. Alyoya's coming in from the side, got the ultimate oh! available, and he snaps! 
Hansama's neck as Kazi sends him to the fountain. Mad Lions are now in a five versus four with Baron empowered super minions pushing into the base. Odo forced to flash for his life. The shockwave doesn't find a target because Odo's out of dodge and he will not go down just yet. But the Nexus turrets will. The first has fallen. The second has fallen. And next will be the Nexus. Humanoids trying to buy some time, but it feels so futile. It feels so insignificant because Mad Lions even out the series. Bring it him, and of course is going to pair nicely with the Kaisa. Now we get the vein for Karzi. So bot lane still very explosive. Rogue, they don't care about Odo and top lane. Forget about him. Larson. And Ender, you talked a little bit about how Rakan can be very favorable during the course of this game. Once again, finding the knockup. Hansama steps forward. Oh, Knight is ticking. No. And that was just easy. Great. Level one and two engaged from Trivia. Flash don't matter. Flash do not matter. Alioya showing his face. Armut, however, having no flash may actually matter. It's knocked back by the Devastating Sarge. The World Ender will not give enough healing. Drops. Yeah, but because it's a cannon wave, they're not actually going to lose a lot of minions. Elioia has to spend a lot of time if he wants to commit to the dive. Here we go. He does indeed. The Stormbringer is going to bring Elioia to the fight. The first focus is going to be Hansama. Turn their attention to Trimby. He stays alive. Relatively long and very minimal damage, obviously, because the tower's taken oh, out. Oh, man. I mean, oh, Trimby's yeah. going to fall, too. They're just waiting for the cycling of summoner spells. Now they pull it back. They're a little bit worried. Inspired is in the area, and he's level 6. Does he want to go in level 7? We're gonna fight. No flash, no ultimate, as you mentioned, for Alioria. Trimby's gonna take this blast going to safety in just a moment. He gets uh, caught out, he gets stunned up, he gets knocked up. Manages to jump over the wall, and Kazi condemns him to the fountain. Walking Shot. the river without being seen first. This is a good timer for Alioria, but a better timer for Botwing Gang. The quickness goes in, double charm comes out. And when Inspired's got the ultimate available, may not even need it. Does use it in the end to secure the kill there on two cars. But the time do so much damage onto the tower. This time, though, you see Larson moving down from mid lane towards that bot area. Good trade there by Kaiser. Oh, man, you can see the chain Tower's CC. fallen. That's Kazi running forward with the final hour. Hunt Summer's taking so much damage in reply. Quickness comes back. Here comes Inspired. Trimby's already down, but Alioya's in, in place to help out the vein. Hunt Summer forced to dash away with Kazi. Kazi's going low. Inspired can't find the kill. Yep, but Odo has completed the TP. No well, ultimate yeah, Larson available. Over the wall, Larson is moving down towards this bot lane, but he calls off the play. He wants to go back to farm. The Shockwave so with Trimby almost jumping in on towards Kaiser, who again just gets set up straight against the wall. Rogue control. The control we saw all throughout the regular season, the control we saw in game one. Let's see the dive. Flashes are available for both bot laners on Mad Lines. That's a tumble and dash away. Cause he's going to get popped, and it's Inspired that gets the kill. Ayoya has now arrived into the fight. It's a 2v3. Inspired will not be able to skip. What's he trying to do? He gets a flash. Manages there was no the one. Flash. Here comes Armut. Here comes Armut. The world end is out. And Emperor's divide. Flash over from Armut. Thumble chains won't pull Larson back just yet. But here comes the unstoppable onslaught. Trimby is in time to watch Larson die. What can Odo do in reply? There's no damage just yet. Finally, Inspire arrives to the fray. Humanoid finally gets his man, Trimby. Picks him up after bringing his way back to the mid lane. And Odo goes down as well. It's Mad Lions with two, three quick kills. Oh, man. I just love the play. Kaiser is going in before before anyone is actually there ready to follow up and yet still convinces Larson to flash into his top laner that's coming in on the flank. Just beautiful coming stuff. From. And in the end of the day, it was the wrong bet and Trimby gets caught again. Well, he's going to be the next target. This time around, it's Humanoid with the help. That's right. You're looking at the impact Kazi is having. You're looking at Kaiser's engages. And now all of a sudden, Inspire jumps forward. He gets the fear onto Kazi. Kazi stays alive just a few seconds longer before the Akathian Reina one more auto pops him down. Now Kaiser's continuing to improve on the groundwork they made last year, but now Larson gets caught. Kaiser's a machine! He finds another one. The Emperor's Divide will buy enough time for Larson to escape with his life. Hans Summer and Trimby stepping forward. Whoa. Inspired is going to be inside the Dragon Pit, and Larson commits to this one. They're knocked up. They're dead. They've thrown themselves into the meat grinder. Hans Summer simply cannot burn through that many HP bars, and it's a double kill to Elior. I don't know what Larson was thinking there, not having the ultimate. Inspired's doing the Dragon on the bot side of the map, and two players of Rogue will lose their lives once again. Kaiser finding the initiation, finding that moment. Arts came from two in the top side. Mad Lions playing very well around their vision and the gaps in it. I mean, Larson didn't know that Armut was sitting inside the blue buff, oh. I don't think. Poor guy goes into his certain demise. Karzi wasn't even in the fight.
and it's a double kill for El Yoya. And just a few minutes ago, I was asking where you felt the, the gold or the game state kind of favored. Well, throw that out the window completely right now. Uh, eight out of nine kills El Yoya has been involved in. Nine out of nine for oh, Kaiser. follow-up from Mad Lion, so Kaiser won't pull the trigger just yet. No, he won't, but he can now. He can now, and he does. That's the knock-up onto Han Summer. The knock-back comes up from Inspired. Four members of Mad Lions corralling in spite into the jungle and he's using the end. Han Sama still has flash and he's not with his team just yet. Baron is so, so low. 3,800 HP and Mad Lion starts to back away. The unstoppable onslaught is not just yet used. It's not available. It's on cooldown from Inspire. So oh, Kaiser! Back. Fantastic engage from Kaiser. Gets a three-man knockup. Armut picks up the first of the fights and Han Sama hasn't even fired a single auto attack. Odo uses the ultimate to retreat. Damn ultimate. Now, Rogue do not have a jungle. This Baron is getting low. Han Sama was trying to find some sort of flank opportunity and did not get a single auto off that fight. Humanoid's got TP available, no shockwave, and he's going to finish the recall. Yeah, he wants to come in on the TP down to 3k HP. Kaiser, what can you do with El Yoya? Oh, it's another fantastic engage from Mad Lions, but it's El Yoya that's going low. They can't find the kill just yet. The shockwave finally takes down Hansama. One, two, three rogue members fall quickly, and the zombie of Odo pops as Mad Lions turn to the Baron. The flanking Oriana Humanoid comes in and destroys Hans on the back end of the fight. Mad Lions are looking so, so good, but Inspired is back. Inspired has an ultimate. Inspired has smite. Can he get it? No. Kaiser denies him. He won't go for the smite. Inspired not going to use the ultimate just yet. Needs to use the devastating charge. He actually goes on to Kaiser. Gets a multi fear Manages to pick up at least one kill and remove one of those Barons before donating yet another. And, and when you look at the trajectory of these two teams, last year in Spring Split, it was Mad Lines that surprised. As the new team, they beat G2 in that first best of five. But Summer, it was all rogue. Being, finishing first in the regular season. And now the question is, who is going to be the team, these two teams that brought, were brought up together, who will jump forward first? And it's very exciting to me to see these two organizations that, again, continue to develop, continue to improve, three splits in a row, adding their names into the use to push Mad Lions back. Mad will finally split up. They haven't broken up the okay. base just yet. Larson and Spite throwing a lot at Alpoya, and he's going to escape through the river while that's going on. Mad Lions inside the base. That's one big bear. You're not going to kill that. Mad Lions crack the bot lane tower. They've got the inhibitor as well, and Rogue are sprinting over towards this bot side. Can they find the fight before El Yoya gets there? Empress Divide is still available for Larson, but there's no ulti for Inspired Hecarim, and Armut steps all the way forward. Inhibitor is taken down, and now Mad Lions with this Rebel Bound Pan play, pushing into the mid lane. Because Rogue don't pull the trigger, they are going to lose this mid lane. Now, the Baron is about to go away, but I think they've got the buffer just long enough. They've got this tower. Rogue, what they're gonna do? Well, Kaiser's made the initiation. Whoa! He's stolen it up. Hans Summer's on the backside, but he's gonna get popped and focused down. He gets one kill before taking out himself. Kaiser is zoning away Larson. The Emperor's Divide does nothing to stop the Mad Lions, and the pack have found their prey. Rogue have two members left standing, and Mad Lions waiting for the minions to push forward. No Baron empowered minions this time round, but they may have just enough to finish it off. Game one was Larson, game two was Karzi, game three is Kaiser. The man is on a mission to destroy Rogue, and Mad Lions aren't going to stop. Yeah, the Shockwave once again finds Inspire, takes him down. El Yoya, 5 0 10 out of his team's 19 kills. 15 kill involvement for Kaiser. The opponent is doing the offense. And I mean, we've been getting super early Barons too. That's why the game is blowing up. Inspired wants to fight. He does indeed. Will not be able to really land onto Kazi. And that was a fantastic shockwave from Humanoid. Kazi's found one. Aloyan's found another. And Rogue are wrecked. Rogue are ruined. And Rogue are going to be taken down. Aloyan is running all the way forward onto Larson. Unkilled this game. Empress Divide will buy a few seconds of time as Kazi flashes over the wall, condemns Larson to safety. He's inside the fountain. The last man standing. Unkilled, El Poya. Unkilled, Humanoid. And Kaiser 2 1 and 17. Mad Lions are one win away from a rematch with G2. Mad Lions show inspired in the jungle. And the last lock in here will be the Alistair, as you correctly predicted. So much pressure, but when you think back to his team, is the ability to deliver under pressure. Yesterday, G2 were forced as hard as they could. Whoa, whoa, five. whoa! And right now, Armut and Alyoya, they're going to run down uh, Odo Amne for an easy first blood. The kill has looked like it's going to be donated over to Armut. And that Nidalee 
Down towards the bot side, good oh, hook. Oh, Trimpy's found the death sentence. The flay, Kazi forced a flash. The lantern will bring Hunt Summer forward, and that javelin went way wide. Jump over the wall, oh. flash over, flash follow from Inspired. Nobody else has died just yet. And armor from the ulti Ooh. being ready, but that's not stopping Mad Lions from no, looking for a not. play. Kaiser's gonna find the flash, headbutt, pulverized combination. Trimpy's moving backwards as Inspired's found Humanoid. Managed to get the pounce and the swipe. Han Summer will pick up the kill onto Al Yoyo after losing Trimpy, and here comes Lawson. He picks up the second, that's Han Summer with a double. Kaiser's the next one to fall. A triple kill for Athelion. And Karzy's here. Mad Lions doing so much to enable their jungler, and yet Rogue want to fight once Trimby's more. Trimpy's stepping all the way forward. The box has come down. Destiny and Gate delivers the gold card onto Trimby, the wild cards don't do enough damage, and it's Kaiser that is sent packing the fourth. Alistair in your face, and Aphelios is one of the best champions to be in that scenario. Yeah, Inspire getting both objectives now, too, and this is exactly what Rogue needed. When you go, like, how are Rogue, you know, winning a flash on the bot side? How are they also getting a lot top side? Good play. That was very good. And a double sleep, oh boy. Lilting Lullaby, Cleanse comes out from Hans Summer. He's firing out with the oh, flame. The damage. the damage is so huge with that Moonlight Vigil. Inspired Hell picks up a Everything second. you could ask for in a 3v4 for Rogue. And so crucial for Trimby as well, after missing that to go, and he had red, white guns prior. I think they backed away, looked at that and went, nope, do not want to pick that fight as the first tower of the game will fall just after. I think we've seen that so far for the first 15 minutes. Now they do need to push this advantage further, make sure they push their vision. Four turnarounds. I think we were even casting yes. one that happened in the bot lane, completely caught everyone by surprise. Trimby and Inspired are working together. This is exactly what I wanted to there see. There are a couple teleports coming down. Trimby flashes away, but it won't be enough to keep him alive. In the 1v3. Well, the dragon will be secured here by Rogue. Interrupt the unstoppable onslaught. Odo still got flash hops over the wall, continues to run for his life before he's put to sleep by Al Yoya. Humanoid gets yet another gold card out and the fear beyond death will secure a kill for our mut but allowing the rest of rogue to pick up the dragon to push deep vision into the bottom lane as oh, well as man. potentially find to farm underneath your tower because rogue are always going to beat your team on the rotations always be threatening to pick you off so they have to take the long way through their base very commanding position that thought starts to creep into the back of mad lines minds game five Decide. if you can see this you get a few more minutes to set up for the Infernal Soul fight, and that is the path that Mad Lions elect. Now that gold humanoid may just get caught out here. Roar of the Slayer will slow him down. Not going to get knocked up yet as W will go up. Gets caught by the decimating oh, smash. Yes. And because of the decimating smash, the Javelin won't find his target. Humanoid's able to run for his life. The Shirelius keeps him alive. Flash okay. forward from Inspired and finally takes him down. The fight's not over yet as that's the flash engage. Odo channeling the Q. Forces up the flash from Kazi. The chase forward from the rest of Rogue and Inspired. Throws out a Javelin this time around. Those guys don't have it. Those are the the, the big playmakers, I would say, in the tense of setting up for your team, but that's trouble. And uh, now Kaiser will not have his ultimate coming yes. into this fight. That is a huge deal. Very big. The he might not have his life. Just about to time out. Culling comes out. The Moonlight Vigil burst and is lost and then picks up the kill. 45 seconds until the Infernal Soul and Kaiser is down. He will respawn before the Dragon, but will not be able to make it there. Oh, Drift King! Not going to find a target just yet. Zoto will get stunned up, but it is a tower secured by Rogue. They can continue the pressure. 20 seconds before Kaiser. Lucian Aphelios that are fair. Double now, it has been started. This will be a fight. The Lullaby has been put down, but there's no follow-up. They're not there quickly enough. Destiny will be able to give some vision. The Flay pulls Armwood backwards, and Odo is taken out by Kazi. But Zombie Silent just burst to Drake. zone it away. Drake is the focus. Infernal Soul is secured by Rogue. Now, what can Mad Lions do? Last Humanoid on the That's back. That's a great engage from Kaiser. Humanoid throws up the wild card. There's down. not enough damage. There's simply not enough to deal with Lawson as well as Han Summer. But now, all of a sudden, Armut's turned it around. Humanoid Lawson's can do it. Out. Inspired may not be able to finish it out. Armut and Humanoid, they managed to make it work. They managed to kill the carries. It was such good team fighting. The two of them, Inspired lands the hook and destroys Humanoid. It's one thousand gold to his name. That's no joke, and they're going on Larson. All right, Larson's going to be the next target. Gold card will tag him, and there's enough members of Rogue making their way. Can Armour get the fear beyond death? Dashes forward, not going to be able to find a Rogue. Making they got their way him. Out. They will be able to find themselves a kill, but what will it cost? Teleports available for Humanoid and Rogue decide not to chase. They turn around and try to burn down Kaiser. Unbreakable Will is up. There's no ulti from Armour, and he's going to be the focus of Inspired. And Hansama, that's engaged. That's Kazi jumping all the way forward, but he's pulled up. He's taken up. My heart, Hans stays alive.
have just long enough to watch the rest of his teammates die. And finally, Yoda, one that goes down. That's going to be the ace for Mad Lions. They're right back into this game. Mad Lions are doing everything in their power to stay alive here. And it's huge. Both teams got what they wanted. Larson, lane dominant mid laner. Push it out. Help out your jungler with a TP in now from Larson. It will not be enough. He doesn't even have with an Infernal Soul and their Baron power buff will just about time out. That is such a fantastic graph. Thank you, production, showing the gold difference over time. Armut is going to chuck Odo over his shoulder. Kaiser knocks him up. Get over here as Armut is dominating. 7, 1, and 2 with 30 seconds till Elder. And there's 45 seconds on Oduamne. Mad Lions may just get this. They still have the Baron for another minute, so they can keep charging down mid. They finally gain tower, and Mad Lions remain on match point look to send Rogue to the lower bracket and face G2 next week. Kaiser continues to sprint forward to zone Rogue away, and now it is Mad Lines past the This is going to be very, very scary. Can it spike? Okay, Kaiser on the flank. Kaiser's looking for an engage. He's got the Hex Flash available. Oh! It's Mad Lions that are able to pick up the Elder. Now it is all of a sudden on Rogue. They're backing out. They've lost Inspired. Teleport coming in. They continue to press forward with one Kaiser. minute left on the Elder, and the chat has spoken. 82% for Mad Lions. Yeah, I mean, you can't doubt right now. The tower will the perfect fight to overcome the Mad Lion Siege. And the ability to find an impact on Nidalee versus the ability to find an impact Hans on Lilia is gigantic. Hansama's ulti does so much. Oh, they charge! It's through. Unstoppable onslaught comes forward. Hansama remains untouched for now, but Kaiser sleep. catches him. Kaiser catches him. Two members of Rogue are put to sleep. Larson finds one as all of a sudden Mad Lions are on the retreat. It is everybody dying, and finally, Mad Lions in the advantage. Finally, Mad Lions find four. It is just Larson on the other side. He's getting flashed on. El Yoya wants to end this game, end this series right here now. Larson is on the run. He's on the sprint to try and survive, but it's Mad Lions with three strong in the base. Put yourself in these players' shoes and think about how difficult these team fights are. There is not enough time to find the words to explain. They Kaiser on the flank. Damn. This guy has been such a machine, and it's another potential sleep. He hits two targets. Humanoids porting in. Kaiser's looking forward. No flash for Hans Sama. Follow him. Gold card catches him out. Insta cleanse will come down on the QSS. Rather inspired, it's going to be the next one. He gets caught by follow-up gold card. Two members of Rogue. It's not even down. close. The third is taken out. A dash forward from Larson. Yes, you get El Yoya, but at the cost of Baron and at the cost of three members of Rogue. Mad Lions may very well look to end the game right here. It is Larson, the timeless carry for Rogue, and Hansama, the carry for Rogue in this game. But it's a two versus four, and the Mad Lions look unstoppable. Ten thousand gold lead now after a five thousand gold deficit. Mad Lions were obliterated in game number one and are on the precipice of a back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back series win. Hans Summer and Larson are on the defense. They're pushing backwards. Mad Lions have done it. They've got Larson. They've got Hans Summer. They've aced Rogue. And Mad Lions will have a rematch with G2.